All right, time to log on. Let me see if they fix Scatter Justice real quick. Uh, let's see, Scatter Justice, no, no fix. Oh, no Scatter Justice? Huh, what's this? It was made incompatible on purpose. Our app can Cuba hack without the augment is stronger than the basic hack. But for now, you may consider this as intended. Kuva Hack is here, and it is garbage. Now, some of you might ask, yo, no, what's going on? That's some really good base stats. Like, why is it garbage? Well, let me tell you one thing. If it can't kill 10 enemies in one shot, it's garbage. AoE is the meta, and if a gun is incapable of deleting mass hordes of enemies, then no one will use it. Time and time again, DE have released numerous single target and traditional rifles and guns, Yet their ribbon disposition is so high because, guess what? No one's gonna use them. And it's a no-brainer. With stuff like Kuba Tonkor and Brahma, there isn't any real reason to run other guns when the meta is so powerful and stagnant. Now, not all is bad. There's actually quite a few single target weapons that have AoE capabilities, like Kuba Chakor, Fake or Heck, Prime or Prime, and so forth. Fake or Heck in particular has this nice justice proc, which releases an AoE explosion dealing damage to nearby enemies. Sounds pretty cool, right? Now give that to the Cuba hack, and you got a recipe for success. Or so we thought. Upon release, the Cuba hack was actually incompatible with Scattered Justice. At the time, many of us thought it was simply an oversight or bug, unintended. But after some hot fixes, that wasn't the case. DE MoMA in a forum post stated the following. It was made incompatible on purpose because... Math? and it had better crit stats and an innate elemental bonus. The Kuba hack without the augment is stronger than the basic hack is with the augment. We might be willing to reconsider this in the future if suitably scientific appeals are made, but for now you may consider this as intended. Here is where I have an issue with this explanation. It's the fact that they compared an MR4 shotgun to an MR15 shotgun and justified the restriction because, well, the base stats are better. That's like comparing a Bratton to a Redeemer Prime. Of course the Redeemer is going to be better in every single way. It's a Prime. It's, it's one of the best guns in the game. By this logic, then, why is Prisma Scana allowed to use Bright Purity? Why is Prisma Dual Cleavers allowed to use Justice Blades? Why can the Volcar Wraith use Lasting Purity? Why can Super Vandal use Entry Burst? Why can the Kuva Dragoon use for more and Accelerant? All these weapons I listed are 100% better than their original in every single way. Yet these weapons are allowed to use their augments. But when it comes to the Kuva Hack, it's an exception. However, the funny part is, because of the new Critical Deceleration buff, the normal hack is actually almost better than the Kuva version. Because guess what? Justice. Justice proc is an extremely useful tool to have on the hack. The fact that after a few kills and shots, I can make an AoE explosion is game changing. It doesn't matter if the Kuva variant has more critical chance or base damage. The fact that the Kuva version cannot make an AoE explosion is what's bringing it down. Now, some snarky people might say, hey, the Kuva version can launch four shots into one. But you fail to realize that A, the Kuva heck is a single target weapon, B, it has a slow ass reload speed, C, it has to reload after each alt fire shot, whereas a normal hack can just shoot away procking justice over and over again. A 13% increase in CC is not game changing whatsoever. And again, scattered justice has 200% multi shot as well, and you can't obtain this high amount of multi shot because the ribbon disposition of new weapons are 0 0.5, so even a ribbon can't save this thing. Ah, oh, but you can use galvanized hell though, except you can use Galvanized Hell on the normal version too, stacking up even more multi-shot. 
and Riven still benefit the normal heck way better because it has a higher disposition. So any Riven is possible to roll with over 200% multi shot, meaning if you wanted a Riven build, you can stack up even more multi shot. It's almost as if they didn't want this gun to have scatter justice to begin with, and in that case, why didn't they just say so? Instead of making this weird explanation of damage testing and all that bullshit, the better comparison would have been to compare it with the Vaycore Heck. But guess what? The Vaycore Heck is actually better than the Kuva variant because it has a higher crit chance, higher magazine, justice proc, higher fire rate, and of course a much better disposition. So them comparing the Vaycor variant to the Kuva wouldn't have fit their logic because then it would give the Kuva Heck an actual reason to be compatible with Scattered Justice and they didn't want that. And at the end of the day, why? Why warrant such a restriction? Who cares if it's OP? What, is it the next comb or something? And if you're really that worried about it being OP, then go revisit all of this. Oh, by the way, Galvanized Savvy Shot and Aptitude don't actually work on projectile based weapons. Uh, and they probably won't fix until after Tenocon. So yeah, those mods are useless and all the form you spent has just been wasted. Nice. Oh, me a curve,